Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you guys are new here, my name is Donna. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not new, thank you so much for joining me today. I just got done filming a get ready with me, which is why I'm in this crappy tank top and have a full face of makeup going on. Just kind of crazy. Uh, today I am filming my BoxyCharm unboxing. I just got this in the mail just now actually while I was filming that get ready with me. So I'm super excited about it. I got my Ipsy in the mail today as well which is weird because they never come at the same time. But if you guys are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm it is a subscription service. It comes once a month. It is $21 per month to get it. It does come with typically five full-size items in it. They do say four to five um, travel to full-size items or four four to five full-size items. I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry. It typically comes with five full-size items in it. Last month it did have six full-size items in, them. in it. It did have a couple brushes and I will link my... Why, why am I like this? I think it's over here. It's probably over here though, because I'm typically wrong. I will link my last month's boxy charm box unboxing up here for you guys to look at, and I will also link my boxy charm playlist up here as well sometime during this video, so that you guys could take a look at that. This is by far my favorite uh, subscription box. I do have this. I have Ipsy. I also have FabFitFun. That one's pretty new to me. I love that box as well. I am probably canceling my Ipsy because A, I don't need any more makeup bags and they send you a makeup bag and B, I don't really use the sample size items so I probably don't need to purchase Ipsy anymore. But I won't stop purchasing BoxyCharm. I love BoxyCharm. I do get mine at a little discount because I do purchase for a year at a time. So if you purchase for longer periods of time, you do get the boxes for a little bit cheaper. I do believe mine are $19.75, I think it is. I did purchase mine for a year at a time. So uh, let's just jump into this unboxing. I am actually super excited about this month's box. Last month I was kind of... Um, a little bit disappointed in the box, not because it was horrible, but because a lot of the items in the box I won't use. I did use some of the brushes that came in last month's box, and they're not fantastic, so I wasn't really impressed with those, but typically I am 100% on board with what BoxyCharm sends. So when you open up the box, this is what you see. And I already see something I'm super excited about. I actually, this will probably go into a giveaway. So for those of you who know my channel, I feel like my lighting is a little off today. Um, for those of you that know my channel well, you know I already have a full size of this that is barely used because it lasts so long. So I'll probably put this in a giveaway. When you open up the box, this is what you see. You have this card here. This card does uh, tell you everything that is in the box and what the box's theme is this month. So you open it up, and this is new. It used to be like a little postcard, but this is the theme this month. It is Caribbean Queen. So I'm really super excited about that. It has a nice little picture of their boxy babes, which I think is really cool. And then when you open it up you have a whole list of the products and what they cost. I'm going to set this aside. I'll go through that later. I don't typically do an unboxing with a um, try-on because I do a get ready with me later on in the month using only the BoxyCharm items. So I'm going to open up this box and of course the first thing we're going to pull out is this guy. This is the cutest little container. Let me set this box down real quick. This is the cutest little container of the Boxy, um, or the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I do have a full size of this, so I'm not going to uh, open it up and, you know, take it out of its package. It is sealed differently than the regular one. The regular one just has this little seal portion in it that you pull out. It's a little plastic thing. This is a different kind of seal, and it is completely sealed to the to the container so I'm not going to take that apart because I will probably put it into a giveaway or give it to my daughter I'm not sure um, she's moving 
So she's moving in with my parents in um, Western Washington because she decided not to. She got a, a pretty extensive scholarship to WSU um, for her program. She wants to go into education and she was really super excited because that was the school of choice for her. But now that she's working at Starbucks, she can go to ASU online for free and not end her college career in debt. So I think she's making a super wise decision, but she, like me, does not want to be in this area for the rest of her life, so she's transferring and she's moving in with my parents, which is very sad. I'm very sad about it. She is my BFF, but I love her so much and she's making the right choice. So back to the box, I might give this to her. She loves my Boom Boom Cream, loves the smell of it. It smells amazing. Uh, if you guys have a chance to try this stuff, you should. I've never seen it this small before. This is so cute. It's so cute. They do have like the full size is $45 at Sephora and you can also get a smaller one that is I think half the size for $20. I've never seen it this small. This is so cute. So we did get the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. So the next thing I see in the box is another set of brushes. These are Luxie brushes though. I am so excited. I love Luxie brushes. They come in this nice little Ziploc bag which is interesting. So let's open this up. I don't know if you guys have ever tried Luxie brushes before but they're pretty expensive and they are so nice. This is really nice. This is a dual fiber powder brush which I am really excited about it is so soft these brushes are so soft I love Luxie brushes I do have quite a few in my little container there I have a set of four that I got in a boxy charm it was my first experience with Luxie brushes and they are travel size so they're just little um, but they're amazing this one is a tapered highlighter brush which I'm super excited to have I I'm kind of a brush hoarder, so that is so soft. So soft. I can totally see using this. I already got makeup on it. They don't, from what I have gathered thus far, they don't really, you know, fray or fall apart. They're very nice brushes. This is a precision foundation brush. I don't know that I'll use this for foundation. I have a Real Techniques brush that I, uh, the buffing brush by Real Techniques that I use for my foundation or a sponge. So I probably won't use this for foundation, but this is a really nice brush as well. I love the pink and then the rose gold little fennels here. Is Are they called fennels? I can't even remember. Um, somebody said on one of their, uh, it was either on Instagram or I should take those out of there because I got that one. I got makeup on that one. Somebody said that these smelled really bad when they took them out of the Ziploc bag. But I didn't, I didn't smell anything weird on them. They didn't smell at all strangely. So do you see I got makeup on that one? I need to take it out of here. I need to clean it. I think that they smell perfectly fine. I don't think that there's a weird smell to them. And I'm actually really super excited to have these brushes. The last set of brushes that we got um, in last month's box and... I, I have to say this. I am a brush hoarder. I love brushes. But honestly, I'm getting a little sick of getting brushes in my bags, to be honest. I think there's one in my Ipsy bag as well, and it is also a Luxie brush, I believe. I love brushes. I love them. But I've got this set up here, and then in the corner over there, I've got two cups full of brushes, and a lot of them I did not purchase myself. I got in these boxes. Like, they're just standard to boxes. So... Luxie brushes are amazing. The last set of brushes we got were by Aesthetica, I want to say, and they're, they already started, I've washed them twice, and they've already started kind of fraying and falling apart, so that's discouraging. Moving on, the next thing I see in here is this box here, which I think is really cool. I'm not sure, is that a snake? with a crown on it. I think that's what that is, a snake with a crown on it. And they are Lashes by Baddington Lashes. 
The packaging is really cool, I guess. I mean, the it's a really neat box. They are Monroe 3D Silk Lashes, and that's what they look like. So I have just recently jumped on this lashes bandwagon. Today I'm wearing lashes, but I don't typically wear them very often because I still am in this place where I have a really hard time getting them on my face. So I will use these. I just don't know... Uh, how much use I'll get out of them, but this is funny. Uh, the little thing says, if all else fails, batch your lashes. That's really funny. I do love this packaging, though. This is really, really nice packaging for lashes. The next thing I see in here, ooh, we got six items. That's very cool. Probably because our, De our Sol De Janeiro stuff the boom boom cream was a smaller size that's probably why we got six items the next thing i have is this ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in verona and i really dig this color the last ofra the last ofra lips liquid lipstick i got was in an ipsy and it is quite a bit smaller but it is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. It's very, very comfortable, so I'm really super excited to get a different color in it. Let's test this out because I will wear this. What, what can I do here? I'm really horrible at swatches, y'all, so um, that is the color. It's kind of like a brown. Uh, I'm really into brown lipsticks, so I'm not mad at that. That is really pretty. Okay, the next thing we have here is an eyeliner pencil, and this is in dark brown. That's interesting. Typically, when we get eyeliners in boxes, and if you guys are a subscriber to any box, you know this, it's typically black. I'm really excited to have a brown one, uh, and it is a pencil, which I'm not hugely mad at. That brown is a really nice brown color. I have a lip liner from... I think this is Jaunta Blue, Jaunt Blue, Jaunte Blue. I'm not sure how to say that, honestly. I'm probably murdering the name. But uh, I have a lip liner from them that I absolutely love. I wear it all the time on its own, just as a lip pencil, just as a lip color. And it is awesome. It started out the same size, and I think it's down to like here now because I got it in one of these boxy charm boxes as well. So it came this size. I'm really excited to have a brown liner pencil from uh, from them. I'm excited that it wasn't black. So when we got all the boxy charm sneak peeks, I was really excited to see this palette because it is quite a bit different than anything I have in my collection. Uh, it is a front facing or a lengthwise palette but it opens to the side which I think is really cool and you open it up and these are the colors. It does have a little plastic liner. These are the colors. I was so excited to see this. It says Reina del Carib, Caribe something eyeshadow palette volume one so it leads you to believe that there's a volume two i'll have to go online and check and see if there is it is inspired by the beauty and rich culture of cuba the birthplace of alamar featuring eight intensely pigmented shades ranging from delicate shimmers high shine metallics and velvety mattes so it appears that these four down here are our matte shades and then these, uh, these two and these two here are either the shimmers or metallics. This one looks like it maybe has a little bit of a duochromeness to it, this Celia, because I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a, there's stripes of green through this. Let's swatch it real quick. See if I can do these swatches very well. So again, this is the palette. It's very, very, very pretty. I'm going to do the swatching here. Let me see if I can get that lipstick off a little bit better than that, though. So here we have La Costa. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Then we have El Malcone. Oh, my cone. Holy cow, you guys. Holy cow. Can you guys see that? Wow. That is so pretty. And then we have 
Varadaro? I don't know. I'm probably murdering these. One finger. What? Wow. I'm so excited. Then we have Celia, which is the one that I said was kind of, look kind of duochrome -y. Wow. That is so pretty. Let's wipe those off. Ooh. They've got good stain power. Those two last ones kind of stained my arm there. They also, all of them, kind of stained my fingers. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that gold is still kind of on there. The blue is definitely on there. That color is still on there. Um, I might swatch the last four with my other hand. See how well that goes. <laughs> I'm definitely right-handed, so that might be interesting. Let's see if I can get this off just a little bit more. Just a second. Okay, so we're going to go into... Coco Taxi and Tropico and just swatch those. Wow, this has got some really good, really good pigmentation, y'all. So then we're going to go into Guantanamera and Cafecito and try those two. I just find that the pigmentation on this is amazing. Uh, these all do have little tiny things next to the name of the color. So all the colors have little like emblems next to them. So this one has like a little raindrop and this one has like a little asterisk. I'm not really sure what all that means on this palette. I'm sure if you went to the website, you could find out what it all means. Maybe it says on the on the thing what it means, but you guys, the pigmentation on this palette is absolutely amazing. I am stoked to use these colors. Let's look at the prices of these items. So then you bring out the card and it tells you the prices of everything. So we're going to start with the palette. So this palette features eight highly pigmented opaque shades reminiscent of the beauty and culture of Cuba. Dive into the pigments and pearls found in the intense metallics or ground your look with a warm richness of the creamy mattes. For a more intense application, refer to the shade names that feature a water droplet that can be used with a wet brush the sun symbol for application with a dry brush. So the water droplets on these pans mean you can use a wet brush with them and it'll intensify the look of the color, which is really cool that they did that. Uh, that palette goes for $28, which, God, is not that bad. That is not a bad price for that palette. $28 for eight beautifully pigmented shades. So the next thing on my list is the Baddington Lashes. That's this box here. These lashes here. The 3D Multi-Layered Baddington Monroe Silk Lashes enhance your look with moderate length, adding a volume and length to your lashes. They're handmade with 100% silk and impressive durability, allowing up to 25 applications with the proper care. That's awesome. I love that you can spend like five bucks on lashes or six bucks on lashes or 20 bucks on lashes and they last for 20 to 30 applications. These also retail for $28 from Baddington. So it does look like there's multiple layers in there. I don't know if you guys can see the lashes really well. But I dig these lashes. They're really pretty. They are kind of a little less, like, they're a little less in your face than these guys are, for sure. These were just, like, these are my pure lashes, bombshell, that I've been using over and over again because I know that they fit right. I've cut them down to size already, and I, they're kind of like my practice lashes. This morning, I was going to put on a different pair of lashes and totally destroyed them trying to get the little glue off of it. Oh my god, I am so stupid. But I think they're lashes that I picked up for like six bucks at TJ Maxx, so I'm not mad. But those guys are $28 as well. Next we have the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This Brazilian Boom Boom Cream is inspired by the Brazilian... Brazilian's favorite feature, the Boom Boom. 
or bum bum, however you want to say it. I've heard it said both ways. So it's creamy and rich in guarana, a native Amazonian plant whose fruit contains one of the most potent forms of caffeine. The fast absorbing texture contains just enough mica to add a perfect Brazilian glow as the formula helps your body look and feel its smoothest and tightest. So I've been using mine for quite some time. I don't know that my body's any smoother or tighter, but this smells amazing. So if you by any chance think that you want an amazing smelling moisturizer on your body that might tighten and smooth it, absolutely go for it. It is not bad. This little guy here retails for $10, which is a good deal. It lasts forever. So uh, it does say pistachio caramel leaves skin delicately fragrant, fragranced. It, I didn't know it was a pistachio caramel scent to it. It smells like, it reminds me of, um, Banana Boat, like sun tanning oil, it smells delicious. The next thing on here is this Luxie three brush set, three piece flawless complexion brush set. You have the Precision Foundation brush, which is this, this guy here, right? Yeah. With less bristle density, this brush is perfect for applying both powder and liquid foundations. To create a soft diffuse makeup look, the tapered highlighting brush, which is this guy here, uh, this fluffy tapered brush allows you to seamlessly apply your favorite powder highlighter to the high points of your face or set your under eye makeup, which is probably what I'll use this for because I already have a highlighter brush I'm in love with. Um, but I do love Luxie brushes. And then you have the Duo Fiber Powder Brush. Uh, use this ultra soft dual fiber powder brush to apply cream or powder makeup for a softer flawless finish. These handcrafted makeup brushes with high quality soft synthetic bristles use hypoallergenic vegan and cruelty free materials. So these guys retail for $42. Not even going to argue with that. They're amazing brushes though. I have quite a few Luxie eye brushes so I'm really excited actually to have some face brushes now from from them because I'll get to try the whole gamut. Uh, the next thing is this Jaunte Bleu waterproof eyeliner pencil. It's waterproof, y'all. That's weird. 100% vegan waterproof eyeliner pencil glides on smooth for an elevated eye look. Use along the upper lash line or waterline. This guy retails for $5. They are so worth it. If they're anything like the lip liner I have by this company, they are so worth it. I the lip liner I have by them is the most amazing lip lining pencil I've had. It has super long lasting capabilities. It is just amazing. It goes, it's perfect. It's the perfect shade for me. So uh, $5 is not a bad price. And then we have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick is a one-step full lip color that does not feather. These vibrant colors will give you a vivacious new look. They are creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing the lips and creating a long-lasting lipstick effect. No need to use a lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives a beautiful edge to your lip look and it retails for $21. I do not think that that's a bad price for these lipsticks because... They boast exactly what they do. Like, I've never used a lip liner with the other Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick that I have, and I've never had a problem with it. It's super comfortable to wear, and it's just a beautiful color, and it doesn't feather out into my fine lines and wrinkles around my mouth, which I'm super excited for because my aging skin is horrible, so around my mouth. This color is a little bit dark, but I'm super excited to use it. It's still stained on my arm right there. So, I mean, that tells you something about its lasting power. I love Ofra lipsticks. I am really super happy. It's one of the brands that I wanted to try this year, and this year alone, in my boxes, I've received, in my subscription boxes, I've received a blush from them, two liquid lipsticks, and I think a highlighter as well. So... I love Ofra. They're, they've got some great stuff. So this box total retail value is $134 and I got everything in here 
for $19.75, just under $20. I can't complain. I love this box subscription. If you guys are interested in BoxyCharm, especially after watching this video or any of the videos that have been out, you absolutely should jump on board if there is no wait list. There is quite often wait lists for BoxyCharm because it is such an amazing subscription. I really think that it is something you would not regret having purchased. Do it in increments of like three or six or 12 months though because you do get your boxes slightly cheaper and the value then becomes so much greater because you're spending less per box. Like I said, a hundred and what was it, $38 worth of stuff or $34 worth of stuff for $19.75 is not something I am mad at. Um, also with BoxyCharm, you always get little codes for percentage off of things. So this one is a, uh, Sol de Janeiro code for, uh, 20% off of a purchase of $50 or more using code BOXY2018 through the 15th of next month. I might take advantage of that just to get a couple things. I have their Caraco lip cream. I have this Brazilian crust, crust? Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist, which is amazing. It also smells delicious. I have a full size of the Boom Boom Cream, but I've really been wanting the new, like, body shimmers that they just came out with, so I might use that to get some of those body shimmers. I am really excited about that code. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. I uber appreciate you guys spending a few moments with me today. I know that you don't have to, but you choose to. And I am so, so grateful for, for that. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that you'll want to continue joining me in this and hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell. It will notify you every single time I upload. I do upload consistently Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or Sunday, dependent on the week. This week, unfortunately, I was on vacation at the beginning of the week and thought I would be home in time to get some videos published. Um, prior to Wednesday, I had uploaded and pre-filmed enough to get through Monday, but Wednesday a film a video didn't go up because I am a slacker. So we're actually getting videos on Friday and Sunday this week to make up for the fact that I missed on Wednesday. So you guys are probably seeing this on Sunday. You'll get another video tomorrow. I do hope that you'll want to subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. I do love watching this lovely YouTube family of mine grow. At this point in time, I'm still in a place where I respond to every single comment. I love reading every single comment. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm this month. Was it the same as me? Was it different than me? I have heard that some people are getting the black eyeliner instead of a instead of the brown one, and some people are disappointed with that. Did you get a different Ofra color? Are you super excited about the palette? I'm super excited about the palette. Look at these colors. Holy cow. I am really into warm tones, though, but I'm kind of getting in this place where I'm kind of sick of the warm tone stuff, but the other colors in that palette just overwhelm me with giddiness. I am so happy that I got this palette. So that's it for me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, guys, bye.